a man sleeping with a hundred women the same thing as a woman sleeping with a hundred men? Yes. Why? Um, because it doesn't fucking matter what gender you are. You sleep with the same amount of fucking people. You don't think there's a difference because... No. no. But men and women are different. They're not the same. Yes, they are. How are we the same? Um, because we have fucking equal rights as men. You have the same fucking rights as women. Okay. Right? Sure. So, women aren't oppressed in the West. Well, they are, but they shouldn't be. How? (laughs) Because, as a woman, I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want, just like men. I should be able to work the same amount. I should be able to get paid the same amount. I should be able to do just the same amount as men do as women do. But you, but you do that already. No, we don't. You don't? No. Because if you get a job, say, in the oil field, you'll probably get paid more as a woman doing the same thing in the oil field as a man. What job have you done where a guy has the same position, but he's paid more because he's a guy? Well, I work at a bar. I'm 22. I work at a bar and we split tips so we get paid the same exact amount as a guy bartender. Okay, so you're a woman. I'm a woman. And you haven't been oppressed. Because I work at a fucking bar and we split tips. We don't get our same, like, our own amount of money. But in the oil field, y'all get paid more. Am I right or am I wrong? Where are you getting this information from? Uh, the world is a fucking hole. It's it's the truth. Do you like to be dominated in bed? I like to be the dominator. Really? Yeah. So, no, if it were me and you, how would you dominate me in the bedroom? I would tell you shut the fuck up. That's all? While I'm choking you. <laughs> so, if you're going to choke me, are you going to be on top of me or? Exactly that. <laughs> okay. What if it was all the way around? Would you like me to I'll choke you? Me on top of you, you choke me though. No, no, no. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the middle. Of the- <laughs> no, you know what? That's a little too sexual for me because whatever's in the bedroom happens in the bedroom. Yeah. But if it comes to dominator versus like a regular relationship, um, I'm kind of the person to tell you what to do. It depends on the person. So let's say I was hitting it from the back, right? How hard should I pull you here on a scale of one to ten? Um, a ten. So you want me to pull that shit out? Do what you gotta do. What if I put my thumb in your ass? <laughs> Depends how hard. No, I'm just the whole thing. The whole thing. Go ahead and go ahead and pull it back out. And then put it back in again? Like, do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay. Realistically, five, eight, or ten inches. Huh? Five, eight, or ten inches. It depends on how you use it. That's all that matters? Yep, how you use it. Would you date a guy who is weaker than you? Physically? Oh no. no. Oh, that's tough. You actually, you do. I know. You physically, do. yeah. You don't care. I'm not she gonna lie. Care. Like, I like to be like dominant. Like, she doesn't care. Okay, so how do you dominate a man? I am a businesswoman. Like, I make a fuck ton of money, and like, I'm gonna be real. Like, I tend to like find these guys that are kind of like my bitches in a way. Yeah. Like, like they'll do everything for me, but like I walk all over them. Like, but I kind of like it. It's kind of hot. So what's it like being a dom? It's fun. It's fun. You think you could dominate me or do you think I'd dominate you? No, I could definitely dominate you. That's not the question I asked her. I could definitely dominate you. Really? How would you go about doing that? <laughs> Community guidelines, sir. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here for it. We can't get into that. That's Look, like, that's a listen fuck to around me. and find out kind of moment. Okay. All right. If your man got locked up, how long would you be willing to wait for him? Oh, shit. That's... I don't know. I think it depends on, like, if, like, we're, like... If I'm really... really if we're both really committed, then, of course, like, I'm going to hold, hold him down for as long. You've been together for a year, and he's in there for three. But well, we're going to have to see that. I'll probably, like, talk for a little bit but if I see that it's not gonna get me nowhere then I'm gonna have to I mean but how could it really go somewhere if he's locked up for three years obviously so I'm gonna just 
So that's the end of it then. Yeah. Okay. So if you have an STD, when do you tell your partner? All right, soon I got it, but see, I gonna get tested every three months. Yeah, people, make sure you go. I'm, make sure we get this understood. If you need to go get tested every three months, whether you got a motherfucker, one motherfucker, or you're fucking a lot on, go get tested every three months. That way, if you ever come up with something, you can pinpoint it within that three month time span. Learn something from Bam. Go get tested every three months. Fuck what a motherfucker talking about. Fuck that one year shit. Get tested every three months, regardless, cause you can get fucked off. Trust me, I know from personal experience and just from watching motherfuckers. Do not trust shit around here. Get tested every three months. Make sure you do that. Fuck, that definitely get tested. Like, you can't trust me. She fine as fuck. You definitely gonna get you tested. She ugly bitch get tested. I don't give a fuck if she ugly. Juju, boo boo. Get tested, but man. Don't worry about it. You know, all of us guys, we see a bad bitch, you know what I'm saying? They ain't they gonna go in wrong. They ain't thinking about that. No, don't get I'm tested. I'm gonna tell you how you, get, how you get more pussy. If you go get your paperwork, go get tested every three months. The next motherfucker you meet, tell her, ask her when she got tested, and show your paperwork. I bet she'll, boy, she'll fall for you quicker. She'll like, oh, this nigga clean. He don't play that shit. You hear me? What do you look for in a lady? Honestly, number one's a great personality. She's got a great personality right here. Hey, come here, come here, come here. What happened? Hey, so, you got to have a good personality. A yeah? Be a beautiful smile. Yeah? And girl, good eyes. Mm -hmm. Good eyes. All of that. Hey, all of that. If, all of that. If if you wanted, if you wanted to get his number, what would you do? What's your number? <laughs> you think it's that easy? What's your number? What do you mean? What's my number? Ah, uh, okay. What's my name? Hey, what's my name? You white boy. Oh yeah. See, she don't even know my name. See, she's not worthy. She's not worthy. You don't think so? I mean, the number one thing is she's got to know my name. She's got to know. She's got to know me. What was the question? This has to be the hardest. Uh, if you wanted to get his number, what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? If, 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 if I wanted, wanted to get, get your number, why would I want to get your number? Why? Yeah. Why would I? Because you're coming to my after party. Oh, what after party? Oh, oh, what after party? I guess. I guess. Hey, listen. She's not coming to the after party. Is a man sleeping with a hundred women the same thing as a woman sleeping with a hundred men? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Why? Because the double standards. Men, when men go with a hundred women, that's player. But when girls fuck a hundred men, that's you a hoe. You know? I know for a fact a man has less feelings than women. So when they think about it, they're like, oh, they're just fucking. But at the same time, when a girl thinks about it, they're fucking yeah, what a, back. yeah, what a, what a so girl. A no, 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 what a girl. But when they think about a man fucking 100 women, they're like, I don't want to be with a man who fucks 100 women. No, because, like, wait, because when a girl fucks another man, that means they're emotionally you're attached, you're in my opinion. In my opinion. Okay. So, Why do your last relationship end? Because he was trying to play with me like I'm a stupid hoe, and I'm not a stupid hoe, bitch. I'm, bitch, you can't play with me. You can't play with me. I'm not stupid. Play with your mama. Don't play with me. How was he trying to play with you? He just thought I was stupid. Like he thought he was sneaky. He thought he was slick, and he not. So he cheated. Some shit like that, yeah. Some shit like what? Like he was, like he was taking another bitch, and he was fucking with his ex. And he thought I was dumb, and I like I, he thought I already knew, but I knew. So how'd you end it? I stopped fucking with him. I go. I'm not gonna do no explanations. People are grown enough to know what the fuck they do. I don't gotta explain shit. They're grown enough what the fuck to do. They're grown. They're this was your boyfriend? Yeah, he was my boyfriend and now he's my ex. So you just ghost? You didn't even have a conversation? No, for what? He knew what the fuck he was doing. That's why he didn't reach back. Do you think a man wants to date a woman who works in the strip club or an entertainment industry or in a more modest profession? So I work in a warehouse Monday through Friday, and I work as a bottle girl on the weekends. I don't give a fuck where I work. That money is good. I, The money I make on my weekend job and the money I make during the week, it don't matter how you get it as long as you get it. Like, I mean, that's cool and all. Yeah. So but I didn't I ask. Mean, but, but hold on. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't ask you what you thought. I asked you what you think about the man. I guess you're saying. I guess you're saying. Right? So, I, I feel like you shouldn't matter. Unless you feel like your girl's a known cheater. Then maybe because you do have to flirt a lot for this job. However, the money you take home at the end of the night, 
it was probably someone's rent for one night. So like, I was like, you handling business, you good. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want after this club. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Don't move around my house, try to taxi.